Lipedema is a chronic medical condition characterized by a symmetric buildup of adipose tissue in the legs and arms. It may cause pain, swelling, and easy bruising, and be accompanied by an unusual texture within the fat that can feel like rice, peas, or walnuts beneath the surface of the skin. Limited public awareness of lipedema, coupled with few research-backed treatments, can lead to exacerbation of symptoms as well as physical and emotional distress. Symptoms of lipedema include fatigue, muscle pain, and easy bruising. The intensity of pain may range from none to severe, and its frequency may be constant, come and go, or only occur when the fat is pushed on. Lipedema occurs almost exclusively in females, with rare reports of development in men. Although believed to be prevalent, the exact incidence is not known. Other risk factors are not well understood. While not completely known, it is reported that lipedema can start or worsen during puberty and other periods of hormonal changes, such as pregnancy and menopause. There is no definitive diagnostic test for lipedema and is often misdiagnosed as obesity, lymphedema, Durkheim's disease, or chronic venous insufficiency. Underlying lipedema may also be present with these conditions. Currently, Diagnosis is only done by a trained physician who performs a physical examination as well as a review of the patient's medical history. Lipedema differs from obesity in that obese fat occurs throughout the body. In lipedema, the fat occurs in the limbs, sparing the hands and feet. Additionally, people with early stage lipedema typically do not have diabetes, high cholesterol, or high blood pressure. Unlike lipedema, the swelling in lymphedema often affects only one side of the body and includes the hands and feet. Furthermore, lymphedema can be diagnosed with imaging or genetic tests. The Lipedema Foundation is the world's largest sponsor of lipedema research. Our mission is to define, diagnose, and develop treatments for lipedema. For more information, please visit lipedema.org.